Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. All right. All right. So welcome, everyone. It is an honor and a pleasure to see you all here tonight, standing room only, quite literally. Um, we are here to celebrate um, the amazing work of our Art Rebound family and to lift up our Art Rebound students. Um, first of all, I would like to thank all of the families who are here tonight. Families, make some noise. <laughs> families, make some noise. That's right, okay. So we know that this journey is a long one. Um, it is a four-year journey, and it's not only the students who are part of this journey, it's the families. Um, and so we say thank you to you. Can we give a round of applause to our families? So for those of you who are new to Art Rebound or new to Mass Art, uh, my name is Chandra Mendez Ortiz. I'm the director of this program, and it is a privilege and honor to be here with you today. Um, I also want to say a special thanks um, to the Art Rebound family of staff. Um, staff, can you stand up or put your hands up? It takes a village, it takes a community. Raise your hand if you are staff, please. Round of applause for our staff. Um, I have the privilege to lead and I take that responsibility seriously, but this is 100% a team effort. It takes everybody living this uh, work um, to support our students, and we're doing it with them, but we're also learning from them. So tonight is really a special night where most of this is really going to be about the students. We want to give them an opportunity to shine. Many of them have been on this journey for four years, so they've got some knowledge, they've got some wisdom to impart. Um, this is also a celebration of students who have been here just one year, and this is their first year in the program, but they have successfully navigated their freshman year of high school, and all of the students know what it really means to work hard, especially in, in an age where sometimes folks are, you know, there are scandals sometimes in education where you're hearing things in the news, but our students are doing it the old-fashioned way. They're just doing it through hard work and dedication and passion. And it's those things that, you know, they carry with them. And also to know what it feels like to be welcome, to really feel that in your bones, to know what it means to be respected, to know what it means to give respect, and also to know what it means to have fun. Um, school is hard, and to balance a, a full day of school and then a full year of Artward Bound is no easy task. Um, so I am so proud of each and every one of you in this audience families, friends, uh, students, staff, and everyone here. Thank you so much for being part of this journey. Um, I'm tremendously honored and every day I am growing and inspired by each and every one of you, so thank you. Um, with that being said, uh, we have a few honored guests who are here to just welcome you to the MassArt campus and the MassArt family. At this time, I would like to introduce our president, David Nelson. Yeah, you can hear me, so I don't, I don't need to stand back there. Uh, welcome to Mass Art. This is your campus, this is your home, and to our, our, our bound students, you are our students, so we're so very proud of you. Let's say a big thank you to Chandra for her leadership. staff I say thank you as well to all the family members who are so supportive we're grateful to you and a big congratulations to students whether you're in ninth grade all the way through 12th grade congratulations what a great year and what impressive work next door in the exhibition so congratulations to you all um, so let me tell you a story the year was 1976 I was in the sixth grade and you can do the math on that <laughs> Um, I, I was in my second year of playing the trumpet. I, I grew up in a family of athletes, probably hard to tell from this body, but yeah, all my older brothers were athletes, quite successful, as was my dad, and I was a little different than all of them. And from an early age, I wanted a piano, and I always bothered my parents for a piano. They didn't have money for a piano, we didn't have space for a piano, and my dad bought me a used trumpet and found someone to teach me lessons. Started playing when I was 10 years old, before band even started in the school. I loved it. Played for two years. I was pretty darn good at it. And then I got braces. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and I couldn't play anymore. And I was so, I was devastated, absolutely devastated. So I told uh, my band director, Mr. Cassiano, that I had to quit because I couldn't play anymore. 
and I got a call. Uh, my mom got a call from him and said, David said he's going to quit. I don't want him to quit. Uh, I'm coming to your house. He came to my house, and he brought this big instrument. It's called a euphonium. It's like a little tuba. It had a bigger mouthpiece on it. And he sat down with me in my home with my mother, and he got me to play it. And guess what? I could play it. It worked for me. He would not let me quit. I went on and played all the way through high school. Um, no one in my family had ever gone to college. I got a music scholarship, and I went to college. Um, and here I am, right? I, I spoke to a group of arts teachers about four years ago, actually three years ago. I think Chris was there, and I, I spoke on how Mr. Castellano changed my life because he didn't let me quit. So here's what Mr. Castellano did for me. He kept me imagining what might become if I just pursued the things that I loved the most. So here's my advice to you, you graduates. You're going to get all this advice. So here's a little bit of advice. Don't ever stop imagining what might become of you. Because you're really talented, you're really smart, and you can do things that you haven't even thought of yet. So just keep at it. Another thing I learned from Mr. Castellano and teachers after him, even when I didn't believe in myself, and we all have those days, don't we? They believe in me. And you should know that with people like Chandra and Lisa and Stephen and all these staff, teachers, parents, families, all these folks believe in you. And even on a day when you don't believe in yourself, just realize that people believe in you and keep at it. And then, since you're mass art students, I'm going to tell you what I tell graduating students at the end of every year. The world needs you now more than they've ever needed you. They really do need you. We need you to do the work that you can do. So do your best work and be your best selves. And you go imagine what you can become, believe in yourself, keep going, and let's you make the world more like the place we all want to live. You can do that, and you'll make a huge difference in this world. Keep believing that, and keep doing your best work. Congratulations to you all, and welcome to you. So for those of you who are new to the Art Rebound Academic Year, it is a pretty intense experience, not only of managing and juggling high school, but also being here up to three days a week from four to six from October until basically June. Um, it really takes a tremendous amount of dedication, but also a drive to see that art matters and to focus on that and really put the work in to really cultivate this right here. And that's something that I'm so uh, proud of, not only our students, but also our mentors and our staff who really are the, the foundation of that experience for our students. And so right now for the next maybe 10, 15 minutes, we're gonna have our um, academic teachers introduce um, our students. So you just get a little bit of a sense of what's happening during the academic year. And so our grades are 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, fresh, freshman through senior year. And so they're going to come up and just say a few words about what they've learned this year. Um, and then our students are going to talk about their work, what they've learned, and then we'll be moving towards our celebration of our graduates. Um, at this time, I would like to introduce our uh, freshman instructor, uh, Adam. Oh, it's my turn. Um, my name is Adam. Uh, I've been with our Bound for, I think, five, four, year, four years. Um, this is my first uh, year that I've taught the freshmen. Uh, and it was a wonderful experience working with them this year. Um, the course was called Artist Toolbox, which serves as a kind of introduction to the fundamentals of creating and, dis and discussing art. Um, over the semester, they experimented with observational drawing, uh, the Elements and Principles of Design, uh, The Art of Making a Zine, and uh, we finished the year off with uh, form study. Um, and since I really don't like talking in front of people, I'm going to jump right to the point where I bring up two of my very wonderful students. They are both very passionate and driven artists, and it's been an amazing experience working with them this year. So I would like to bring up uh, Tamara and Shervina. There we go. I'm Tamara, as you guys know. Uh, this class, um, I learned a lot. Um, firstly, we were 
doing like observational drawing and like figure drawing, which I learned a lot from because I want to like work on drawing forms of people and I didn't really do that much before this class and during the summer. So he basically taught us just how to get like all of the parts of a body in a specific amount, amount of time. And later on, we worked on form study, as he said, which helped me with my craftsmanship and making 3D images. And the sculptures outside is basically what we made out of that. Hi, <clears throat> hi, I'm Shravina, and basically falling in at the very last session of Artist Toolbox, we learned form study, which taught me how to put my sketches into a 3D sculpture through the work and use of cardboard and paper mache. I actually learned that cardboard is a very flexible and dense object to use, so I was able to learn how to be able to manipulate it and basically make it do what I want to do. And I thought that it was a very good study because I learned form and different senses of where I wanted to put my like where I wanted to put my the cardboard and how I wanted to make the shape and as you can all see through all of our sculptures and everyone's sculpture how it turned out that's yeah So at this time, I'd like to introduce Curtis. He's our sophomore teacher, and he teaches design concepts. What's up, everyone? Uh, thank you for coming. Um, you know, I have a great connection to this program. I got my bachelor's here at Mass Art and Art Education and began my teaching career as a mentor for this program. Uh, some of my former students are now Mass Art students and a few are even mentoring for this program now. In a few years, they will be my fellow alumni, and I really do think that deserves a little bit of a round of applause. <laughs> now I'm a teacher here again and had the privilege to teach the design concepts course to our rising sophomores. We discuss how design works across the art world, but also the contemporary world in general. Uh, how can you use design to benefit your goals? That's one of the questions we really asked this past semester. Uh, some of the students were resistant to using Photoshop. For those of you who don't know what Photoshop is, it's a computer program that a lot of designers, graphic design people use. Yes, Maya, I see you pointing at yourself. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, all of you now have a really useful tool in your shed, so to speak. Uh, we emphasize communication this semester. How do you capture a viewer's eye? especially when we live in a time when it's really hard to get someone's attention. Uh, this group of students has a lot to say, and all of them are ready to use their voice, and I really want to implore you guys to keep doing that. I was really proud of the messages you guys were able to get across. You're so caring. I'm just very, really proud to be your teacher and really proud to know you. So, um, On that note, I'd like to bring up two uh, students, Gabriela Moreno and Haley Alphonse, please. Okay, let's go. Got it. Let's go. <laughs> kind of nervous. Um, my name is Gabriela Moreno, and I am a sophomore at Boston Line Academy. I'm also part of Curtis Graphic Design Concept class. Um, I don't. I'm not a fan of computers. I'm gonna start with that. I really don't. I'm a person of hands-on, you know, painting and stuff like that. So, coming into this t semester or just term in general, I came in with a fixed mindset, and it was really challenging to get out of it because I suddenly I refused to touch the computer or I just had a mental breakdown, a mental block all the time. And honestly, it was a very, very challenging moment for me because I felt frustrated. I wasn't used to that kind of stress. And, um, but as I actually pushed through, pushed through and I got through it, I was able to gain a new tool, a new skill that really, like, it was really amazing. Once I got what Photoshop, how it worked, I was able to create something that I didn't think I'd be able to do ever. Um, one of my like best pieces, which I believe is one of my best pieces, was um, a 3D print, 3D laser cut 
design. It was uh, my signature, and um, I designed it. I put it into the computer, took a picture of it. Um, I edited it on Photoshop with cleaning up the lines, and then I went. I transferred it to an AI, which was Illustrator. We highlight the paths, and we took it to a place where we could get it laser cutting. And that process in general just showed how much I grew over the year because I would have never been able to use Photoshop like that in my life if it wasn't for Curtis and um, our teacher's assistants, which was Liam and um, Bedlin. They were <laughs> they were so much. There was so much help and support, especially during the times that I was like not having it. And um, I also want to give credit to Alyssa because she's here. And before she also introduced me to it, but. I think this class really pushed me to use it and took me out of my comfort zone, but I really enjoyed the class because I really got some skills. Um, hi, um, I'm Haley. Um, instead of talking about the class, I chose to read a poem that I wrote. <laughs> so it's um, about something that I'm exploring with my art, and it's actually... Um, in one of the pieces that I made, so if y'all see that, you'll probably know what it is. Um, the poem's called Bruises. Um, the American dream is to remind us and enlighten the past we wish to forget. Back to back, his arms were scarred with purple paint, the paint that centered regression from a distant memory. The two moons that shadowed his face blindfolded him in an unwanted dream. Suddenly, the lilac skies and luminous sunshine disintegrated into a familiar, beautiful black powder. The miles and miles of skin that flowed down his body lacerated with open, wits, open winds and the whistling of agony across his chest. And fine grains of snow bombarded his face. Only the ones covered in an unscented charcoal melted on the heat of his cheeks while he whispered the words, I'm fine. So at this time, I'd like to introduce Renee, um, our junior class uh, portfolio instructor. Hi, everyone. My name is Renee. I am the junior portfolio instructor. So this semester was all about sustaining and building a art practice and developing personal voice. We focus on process and different ways to develop um, visual space. We focused on narrative as well as color theory. Um, we then moved into a self-portrait project where artists made an object or image um, that depicted some part of themselves using contemporary methods and ideas. Um, and lastly, artists chose a theme and created a three-part series exploring the theme through th three different ways. Um, it's been really successful and exciting to see students trying out new materials, um, new ideas, and really getting into a rhythm of their own style and voice. Um, so that being said, I would like to invite Jada and Christian up here to speak on their behalf. Hi. Hi, I'm Jada. Um, first off, I just want to say that this program has taught me a lot. Last year, I came up on stage during another Art Rebound show and forgot what I was going to say. I didn't write anything down, and now guess what? I'm writing down what I just, what I'm going to say now. <laughs> so. During our time in Cohort 4's portfolio building class, this semester, the abilities that we have gained during our past classes during the years have definitely been put to use. For example, we practice observational drawing, painting skills, and then for the last two projects, we used all the skills over the years in order to make a self-portrait and contemporary art pieces. In my final contemporary, contemporary project, I used collaging, painting, and drawing while thinking about how I wanted to betray the subject and project. My name is Christian Biazzo, and I uh, I go to the school of Fenway, 
and I am in grade eleventh. Uh, uh, so in a uh, in this semester, I've learned new ways of uh, making art. Since uh, since was this is completely out of my range of what I could do because I was only able to just draw, and that's about it. Uh, other than that, I can also do like a computer program, but I wasn't very good at making stuff with my hands. So being thrown into this new uh, area where I had to use the resources of which kind of forced me to. Speak into the mic. <laughs> I made this new uh, I made this new art project which encapsulates the subject on mankind and uh, what mankind has used to come up to this point. I made this because I was very fascinated with uh, with this what <laughs> with what mankind uh, has gone through and what mankind has had to come up to this point. So after this, uh, I slowly um, knew what I was doing and I was uh, using the tools enough to be at the point where I'm confident enough to make other things. <laughs> so I'm happy with my art. Thank you with my art project and uh, I'm looking forward to what else I have to face next year. Thank you. So at this time, I would like to introduce um, our senior class instructor, uh, Stephen and um, this will start to turn into really hearing from students who've been on this walk for the last four years. So it's really an exciting time. I know it's a bit hot, so if you're standing next to a window that is closed, please open it. Um, and thank you so much for bearing with us because I do know it's hot um, at this time. Stephen. Hello everyone. Um, this year I had the honor, my name is Stephen Hamilton. I was a teacher for uh, Students and Artists, which is a senior capstone um, class. Uh, I had the honor of teaching um, amazing, uh, an amazing group of students this year. I'm incredibly proud of the work that they did. Uh, Citizen Artists is the capstone program um, for Artward Bound. Um, in this class, what I encourage students to do was to talk about who they were. Um, I encourage students to explore ideas um, surrounding issues of social justice um, and uh, socially driven artwork by exploring their identities as individuals. Because um, as people, especially as people coming from marginalized groups, standing firm in your identity is an act of resistance and an act of revolution. So um, without further, further ado, um, I'd like to bring up uh, two students from this class, uh, Lisa Fermetta and um, Jenna Musto. I'm part of Citizen Artist by teacher of Stephen Hamilton, which is awesome because I loved him as a teacher. Um, being part of Citizen Artist really made me evaluate my artwork. Really made me evaluate my artwork and um, research it and stuff. And uh, I don't want to just talk about the class that I was in. I want to talk about all of Artward Bound personally because me being in here wouldn't really did put a giant step under me to become a mass art student. Uh, mass art was the only college I applied to and I'm happy that I got into it. And without this, <laughs> um, 
So I'm happy I got part of it. It was a tearjerker moment when I got the letter, but without artwork Ben, I wouldn't really even be in here because I wouldn't know what I had to add to my art. I am happy for all the freshmen that did get a part of this and sophomores and everyone that's really enduring this experience, plus that kid. <laughs> um, these nights where all the family has to come is nerve-wracking and frustrating for like parents because you do have a busy life and I'm happy that you guys are supporting your kids because like me, without you guys, we wouldn't get to a place like this and I'm thankful for my mom and my dad for really pushing me towards this and I'm thankful for all of the teachers that really told me that my work was poop and I really had to like adapt to it um, instead of being stubborn because all of you have to adapt and really realize that nothing's impossible and your work might look bad now but with practice is always going to get better. So hello. Um, I'm Lisa. Um, I'm not really gonna talk about the art or this. I'm just trying to like give some wisdom to the next generation. Generation. Some supposedly I have since I'm a senior, but I guess. Um, I'm just. These four years been long and stressful, but it's worth it. Um, I learned a lot throughout these years in high school and in our bound. Um, one of the b things that you always have to keep up in mind is to never give up and work hard. And no matter what, just keep going. Just no stop. That's technically what I did. Um, and remember something that I didn't do that everybody tell me, mainly my mom, take a break. I never did. Shonda knows. <laughs> um, so just have fun. Don't stress about it. And it's just good luck. It's stressful. <laughs> so Armor Bound was founded on this idea of providing uh, quality uh, access to the arts in a really supportive environment um, on a college campus. And to be with folks not for a day, but for years. Um, many of the students that you've had the pleasure of hearing from tonight, uh, like I've said, have been here for a year or four years. Now we're about to hear from students who are going to be here as mass art college students, which means that they'll be here for another four years and that they choose this place as their home because the power of art and design has touched their lives and that they are creatives who are passionate about art, but also um, they are scholars, um, they are citizens of this community, and uh, we learn and grow from them. So I'm about to introduce Emily and Akeem, who will say a few words. They are our Artward Mound scholars. What that means is that over the last four years, they have dedicated themselves to their scholarship and have at least a 3.0. They have dedicated themselves to community service. They have dedicated themselves to excellence in the program, and they have been admitted to Massachusetts College of Art and Design, and they have a full ride scholarship for the next four years. I'd like to introduce Emily and Akeem. Hi. No. Okay. Bars. So, um, first I have to thank um, everyone who like got me into this program, um, Chandra, Bethany, and um, my middle school principal who's here, I don't see where she is, but I have to thank her as well because um, if it wasn't for this program, I don't know like where I'd be. Um, I certainly know that sports wouldn't get me a scholarship like this. I know um, anything else wouldn't get me um, an honor like this. I genuinely feel like um, Art Rebound and Mass Art in general is like a second home to me because there's supportive students 
their supportive teachers and staff, and it's allowed me to become um, open about my life experiences and reflections, and it's allowed me to let people learn from them and gain insight from that. And um, also the opportunities that it gives me for other youth programs. Um, as Chandra mentioned, um, you have to be um, a part of, you have to demonstrate some sort of community service. And I became a TA. And if I, if I didn't have that, I probably wouldn't have wanted to get into art education. Um, also, I have to thank my teachers too, all my art teachers, um, because they inspired me to get into that um, department too. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Just thank you. Hi. Hi. Thanks, man. Thanks. Just need that. Why Hi. Um. So I'm Emily. I go to Fenway High School. Well, used to. Not yet, next week. Next week! Okay. I used to go from high school. <laughs> um, I've been here for four years. I did the whole four years, the summers, the classes, everything, and I had a fun time. It was a, it was a, it was a lot. And I learned a lot, and I'm always like the anxious kid in class, so this is just like a bit too much. But <laughs> I, but being here and being surrounded by people who actually care about me is makes it all better and makes it worth the trip from Dorchester all the way from here every day. But um, I'm glad I'm here and I'm glad I got the scholarship. I'm glad I get to meet all of you, and thank you. So I'm going to do a, a slight change because there are two people who look like celebrities here tonight that must go to prom. So uh, we're not going to uh, hold them up. So um, Bethany and uh, Stephen, if I can get your help, because um, we want to present our uh, diploma uh, to Jenna uh, for her four years of excellent, awesome, wonderful uh, contribution. Uh, we're, we've learned so much from you. We're so proud of you. Um, thank you uh, for sticking out and, and, and really rocking this. Uh, we're proud of you, and I'm really excited to see what you do here at MassArt. Um, MassArt is lucky to have you. Um, thank you, and I hope you guys have a wonderful time at prom. Um, so if you can come on up, we're going to present your diploma. Don't say the name. Don't say the order. Don't give it away. <laughs> ah, okay. 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 And her and goodie bag. Wait. 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 What photo? Parents. Jenny parents want the photo. Parents, come on up if you want the photo up. There's a seat right there. Ready? Why do I do this? <laughs> All right. Congratulations, Jenna. You can walk in the photo of Congratulations. Christian and Jenna, happy prom. See you guys.
<laughs> All right, so we're going to go back to the program. <laughs> so at this time, I would like to introduce uh, Chris Wright. He is our Dean of Admissions. Hi, everyone. Uh, first, I want to acknowledge everyone that's come up to this podium, to this mic. I know personally how hard it is to speak in front of people. I have a full wad of paper towels here because I sweat when I'm nervous. So let's just acknowledge everyone that's come up to my board. <laughs> so to the seniors, um, congrats, job well done. Uh, thank you to all of the parents, siblings, caregivers, and mentors that allowed these young people to participate, learn, grow, make, fail, remake, and succeed for the last couple of years. So think about this. I'm, I'm a math guy. I love math. I am not a maker. I can draw stick figures. My son is already coloring within the lines. I think he's got all the creativity, uh, but I like math. Um, 2,000 contact hours over the last four years. Parents, think about that. 2,000 contact hours over the last four years. That's 83 days. That's 12 weeks. That's 120,000 minutes. 2,000 hours is also the average amount of time an adult works in a year. 2,000 plus hours. 2,000 hours from now, it'll be August 22nd, about a week before most of you will be starting school. And think about my start here at MassArt, um, July of 2015, when most of you actually arrive onto this campus. Um, seven of you uh, joined me during that time period. Um, I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. Again, I love math, and I'm coming to an art and design school. <laughs> right? um, but I knew I had a couple of things to keep, my, um, keep me going on my journey. I was heck of nervous, heck of nervous. I would say the other word, but there's parents and kids in the room. So, um, but, but really, I had a lot of confidence and I knew I had the experience to do a good job. You seniors have 2,000 plus hours to build your confidence here in this program. So you already have it, all right? Think about it that way. Perseverance and grit through the challenging times, I had a lot of those. I wear it every day. You have done this and stuck with your art making and college prep work for 2,000 plus hours. And the village, nothing help happens without the help of others. I have my team of admission counselors, uh, faculty, and other staff to help me succeed. And you have, you've had your team of mentors, family, and friends as well. And you continue to have that support network beyond Artwork Bound. Some of, some of you here will be uh, coming to MassArt and you'll be able to participate in the Compass program, as well as continue to be alumni of the Artwork Bound program. So for those that are joining us, you'll be joining one of the largest incoming classes in the history of the college, over 510 students. But don't worry, you have all had 2,000 plus contact hours 83 days, 120,000 minutes of experience on this campus already. I think you'll be fine. So in closing, uh, since you all offered quotes in, your, in the, the booklet there, I'm going to offer you a quote from one of my favorite artists, um, Sean Carter, otherwise known as uh, Jay-Z. <laughs> it's always been uh, most important for me to figure out my space rather than trying to check out what everyone else is up to, minute by minute. Technology is making it easier to connect to other people, but maybe harder to keep connected to yourself. And that's essential for any artist, I think. So remember, dis uh, disconnect, engage, take time out. Uh, step away from social media. It'll always be there. Emails, too. I know you don't look at emails anyway. So. Um, phone calls and uh, even your personal relationships. 
Time alone is essential to recharge and keep in touch with your own creativity. Oh yeah, stay hungry because you can't knock the hustle. Congratulations. Um, so we have a little special treat for all of you and also for our graduates. But before we start that, I wanted to ask if there are any seniors who wanted to come up and say a few words, either about their art, about um, their journey, or um, advice to others. Um, this is an opportunity for you to have the mic. It's not a have to. But if you want this opportunity, come on up. <laughs> nope. We're good? We're good? No. We're good? <laughs> All right, then. I already did it. Okay, so we're going to keep it moving. Uh, so at this time, we're going to show a little feature of their journey. Thank you. Our Baum been like a second house for me. So this is like the safe zone that I come to do art and like be with friends. It's been like this is like day one, so I love it. I have improved in my art, that's something obvious, but I still feel the same. Into um happy, proud of ideas, imagination, just art and more knowledge about the world out there. And English, because I came here speaking nothing of English. And now you can see me technically almost speaking fluently. What's most surprising was the different amount of people that I got to meet. The diversity. What was most rewarding was gaining insight from them. Um, learning from people's experiences and stories because there's people that come from so many different places not just from Art Rebound but from the other youth programs and I learn from their reflections and implement the lessons that they've learned in my life so I can better myself. Many people helped me come out on my show including my tutor Chris who was my Tutor for the past two years who helped me a lot with my academic work. I also got to express myself through like artwork I've done, especially in my capstone work right now, which I'm able to um, uh, show my artistic side and my passion for music right now. The most rewarding experience is having the ability to try many mediums and having the funds to do the things I actually love. Also, having the friends around me support me and help really critique my art instead of just saying it's good. And I'm happy I was accepted to Artwork Bound because if I didn't, I probably wouldn't be accepted to Mass Art now. You feel like you're in a community or a family because everyone likes to like get to know each other and then it's like really easy to just make friends and talk to the staff because they're cool too. You could like build up friends with like pretty much anyone. It's been a really great experience. It's helped me push forward and I learn new things every day. I learned how to draw bodies better. I know how to channel my creativity better and know how to fill up a sketchbook so I don't have to throw the sketchbook away. I was excited to find how many friends I can make in the short amount of period of time I was here. The first few years was just not listening to anyone and being very disrespectful. So it took me a while to realize that I have to get serious in this program. I got out that in order to be successful in the world, you have to take things seriously. And you have to give your full effort into it. And you have to keep giving yourself motivation to continue on things so you can get to the finish line. Our work on experience, it was great from the beginning, you know. But like, I feel like just each year got better and better. Like as I grew into the program, as I grew to know the people, and it's just like a loving, nurturing community where you can be yourself. This program helped me a lot with maturing. As the program grew, I grew with it. I don't want to leave, actually. I would like to stay like at least one more year, but you know, since I'm 12 grade, I can't really like decide to go, gotta fly away.
So if I could have the uh, staff of our Rebound, please come up. Yeah. Yeah. Mentors, instructors, administrative staff, come on up. I just want you to see the community. Um, the folks who have been here day one, in and out, every day, whether they're working on academics, whether they're working on art, whether they're working on just supporting, or just being a good listener, um, these are the people who have been supporting uh, these young people all these years. Um, round of applause for these wonderful people. And Katrina. So uh, let's stay up here because right now we're going to present the graduates. Um, I'm going to get out of the way and have um, Stephen and whoever else would like to announce the names. Um, I'll be on the goodie bag line um, so that we can present our graduating class of 2019. Uh, also, uh, once we do that, uh, then we have concluded the program for the evening, and then you're free to mingle. Uh, check out the amazing art if you've gotten here late. It is truly tremendous and a beautiful show, um, showing their artistry and talent. Also, just so you know, uh, this show is up for a week. Uh, it comes down uh, the 11th of June, uh, so tell your friends or come back by. Uh, we want people to see this amazing work. Um, with that being said, I'm going to introduce Stephen um, and whoever else who would like to introduce our graduates. Thank you. Yeah. Emily Espinal. Congratulations, Emily. <laughs> Bernard Nina. Beautiful man. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Bernard. Lisa. Lisa Frometa Paulino. Congratulations, Lisa. Akeem Owens. Congratulations, Akeem. Kayvon Green. Congratulations, Kayvon. Taylor Adams Bass. Congratulations, Taylor. Elias Moriarty. Congratulations, Elias. <laughs> Can we just have one more round of applause for the class of 2019? So everyone, please feel free to enjoy the show. There's amazing artwork there if you didn't get a chance to see it. And um, be sure to ha have awesome conversations about the artwork that our students did. Please. Oh. And so for all of the other classes, you get a break from us for a month, but we'll see you all back here July 1st. Yeah.